how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with my very special guest, the CEO of Nano One Materials Corp, Dan Blondell. How are you doing today, Dan? Fantastic, Rich. Great to be here. Great to have you on the show. Very excited about learning more about your company. You guys have been doing some really big things. Nano One is a technology company with a one-pot process for producing low-cost, high-performance cathode powder. Can you tell us a little bit more about the company and what you do? Yeah, so uh, we are a technology company and we're focused on developing industrial technology for the production of cathode materials, as you had in your introduction. Cathode materials for lithium ion batteries. And cathode materials for every, for your listeners sort of edification are, a, it's a powder. Um, uh, each grain of powder is comprised of lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt, a bunch of different materials. And, uh, and you basically have to, to make these things so that lithium can go in and out and allow the battery to recharge and discharge. So we have a better way of doing it uh, that lowers costs, lowers the uh, environmental footprint and the carbon footprint while improving the performance of the material. Fantastic. And you touched on it a little bit. Can you talk a little bit more about the lithium ion battery cathode market and all of the opportunities it offers Nano One? So the, the lithium ion batteries are, are definitely here to stay, um, whether they're uh, solid state batteries or next generation batteries or the ones we have in our phones and cars today. Uh, they're all you know, very similar beasts um, and cathode materials are essential to all of the above. Um, our technology is agnostic. We're kind of battery agnostic and chemistry agnostic because we can make all the different flavors of materials. They all have lithium in them, but some of them have more nickel or no nickel or more cobalt or no cobalt. And they all have different strengths and weaknesses. Some charge faster, some don't, uh, et cetera. So the, um, uh, and, and, and this technology is here to stay. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Um, and we have a platform that can kind of address the, address the, the whole market. We're seeing uh, some really interesting developments. You know, the auto companies are starting to integrate the cells and the components directly into the car, much like Apple has done in their in their phones and earbuds, et cetera. And uh, now we're starting to see that happen in vehicles. And then, and then upstream where we are, we're starting to see consolidation in the supply chain. How do you simplify it? How do you get rid of all the extra steps? How do you get rid of the carbon footprint? And that's, uh, uh, you know, those are also places where we can uh, really leverage our technology. What separates Nano One from your competitors? I think um, uh, what really separates us is, first of all, our, our willingness to disrupt the supply chain. So we, we have a disruptive process. Our competitors are largely entrenched. And so they, you know, they're not as interested in disruption until they're forced into it. Uh, the fact that so technologically our approach is very different um, because uh, we are using alternative sources of lithium, nickel, magnesium, cobalt to drive down cost and environmental footprint and carbon footprint. Um, uh, and that means, and we have a process that's, that, that's different. We combine the lithium, the nickel, the magnesium, and cobalt all at once. Whereas the industry does it in a whole series of steps that makes it uh, makes it more inefficient. So we've kind of carved out a whole bunch of intellectual property and patents that are that are really uh, quite uh, uh, that are bearing a lot of fruit. And and there's actually more room there to, to patent because everyone's being concentrated on on really conventional and, and entrenched ways of doing it. And we've got a we've kind of got a new way of, of doing all this. So that uh, that's really separates us. I love that. Here at Rich TV Live, we love to identify disruptive companies. We love companies that have a niche. When you find companies that are in a very competitive industry and there's so many other alternatives, it becomes very difficult to decide which company to choose. But if you're kind of, you know, the leader of a niche industry, that's where I believe the opportunities can be like rocket fuel. And we've seen that with Tesla. Obviously, we see the market cap of Tesla growing over 700 billion. So it's incredible to see what disruptive companies can do. We've seen it with Beyond Meat, and we've seen it with one disruptive technology or one disruptive company after another. Now, Nano One has also a very impressive leadership roster. Who are your key members and what experience do they bring to the team? Well, you've all met me, and I'll, I, I come an engineer. I have an engineering background. I'm, I'm a founder of the company. Uh, I'm the, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, obviously I'm, I, I'm the kind of the face of the company by and large. But really, that that the heavy lifting is done by Stephen Campbell, who's our CTO. Uh, Stephen comes from Ballard Power Systems and the Daimler, uh, the Daimler Ford Ballard spinoff that was called AFCC. Uh, and that was a very successful project. Uh, all that technology was transferred back to Germany, and Stephen came to work for us. And he's been a uh, uh, he's been uh, instrumental in setting forth our sort of technology roadmap. Uh, be it the uh, uh, you know all, all the sort of the chemistry technology, the, the stuff we're working on the supply chain side. Uh, so it's, we're really thrilled to have him kind of leading that technological charge. Uh, the newest person on our roster is uh, um, uh, a fellow named. 
Alex Holmes, and he has 20 years in the capital markets um, uh, arena, 10 of it uh, on the investment banking side and, and 10 of it on the, uh, on the, on the company side of things, uh, both in technology and in, uh, in natural resource um, uh, sort of company growth. So um, I'm really excited to have him, him on board, a very good strategic mind uh, and, uh, and, and a very sort of good organizational person to have on board. So uh, we're really excited about him on a, on a, uh, a chairman side, Paul Matisic is the chairman of the company. And for those of you who don't know Paul, um, he's led probably somewhere uh, somewhere just south of $3 billion in enterprise growth um, in the capital market. So largely in energy metals. So, you know, lithium, copper, uranium, um, and uh, and has played quite well, kind of uh, just plays quite well into our uh, our space as well because he just knows it very well. And then lastly, we have two advisors um, that are really play an important uh, role in, in in kind of really establishing our uh, ourselves in the supply chain. Joe Lowry on the lithium side, and uh, and Robert Morris on the nickel cobalt and and. Uh, a cathode side of things. Uh, both have a tremendous amount of experience selling their metals in Asia uh, over the last 20 years and, and continue to be uh, very involved. Wow, it's a great team. Now, Nano One has also some numerous collaborations and joint developments taking place. Are there any you'd like to highlight? So we've got about 20 different collaborators we're working with, and about six of them are, are, are fairly, uh, fairly prominent activities. Um, a lot of them are, are sort of earlier stage testing and things like that. But, you know, Volkswagen's the most notable name that we wow. have in the roster. Um, we have, a, uh, we have an, a, a U.S. automotive that we announced as a partner in December. Uh, we can't tell you who they are. Um, but uh, it's one of uh, several that we're working with, and we plan to add more to the list. Wow. Um, in, in that case, on the on the really on the on the automotive side, we're working on next generation chemistry and batteries, but also on on exploiting um, some of the the uh, the changes that are really needed in the supply chain to lower costs and carbon footprint, and, and that's uh, of course very important to the OEMs. Then, Nano One has continued to roll out exciting news in 2021, including the recent launch of a new groundbreaking technology called M2 Cam. Can you tell us about that? Well, in a nutshell, it is a very long and complex process to go from mine all the way to cathode materials. And, and along the way, you have to convert metals into sulfates. And that adds, that adds thousands of dollars a ton to the, to the cost of nickel and, and manganese and cobalt, for instance. You have to convert lithium into hydroxide. That adds another couple thousand dollars. And then there's a series of steps um, that, uh, that combine all these things that, um, uh, that uh, we felt had, it could, be, could be vastly simple. So we have developed this one pot process where everything goes into the pot all at once. The, we can go directly from metal powders and we avoid the need to convert it to a sulfate in between. And we are able to uh, avoid the conversion of lithium to hydroxide. So lithium goes directly into our pot, as well as the coatings and any kind of uh, additive materials that need to go in. So it's all, it's all one reaction. And we are basically cramming four steps into one. And we eliminate the, uh, the need to, this expensive need to make the sulfate and actually later landfill it uh, and waste it. And so it brings a whole bunch of cost savings on the metals front, on the lithium front. And then because we do everything in one reaction, we also avoid all the additive steps afterwards. And that brings uh, probably another somewhere between somewhere up to $2,000 in savings as well on, on top of that. So all told, there's not only is there, is, is there a savings measured in many thousands of dollars per ton, but there's a significant reduction in the carbon footprint all the way along because you're not having you not all there's not all this energy to produce these materials you don't have to ship a whole bunch of waste stuff that's going to get going to go into the landfill later on around the world so it's really about streamlining reducing the carbon footprint and reducing the overall cost of the supply chain dan our investors are looking for catalysts what can we expect from nano one over the next couple months well, we're going to be adding, um, uh, we, we've got, a, we've got, like I said, we've got a good half dozen partners that we're actively working with right now. And we planned, we're planning to add another half dozen this year. I think most of them will be kind of in the front half of the year. Um, and so those, those relationships have moved along quite, uh, quite well. And we're looking forward to being able to announce them and put a little bit more detail around them. And, and so that's going to be, a, we believe those will be major catalysts. And as we bring on more, uh, more and more um, institutional investors as well, and that's been a recent change in, our, in the makeup of our shareholder base. I think that'll bring a lot of strength to the uh, to the table. And then, and then, lastly, this whole metal to cam thing, this M to cam, 
has, has really enabled us to reach um, to either end of the supply chain to the miners because it creates more value for their products and to the OEMs who are looking for the, the, these kinds of uh, environmental improvements and cost improvements. They're really gonna help drive this and actually bring the kind of piloting we need in place in, in, in the US and Canada in, in Europe, in, in Australia, in South America. And, the, and those kinds of, uh, I think, announcements will uh, really kind of spark the market and, uh, and drive, uh, I think, drive attention to what we're doing, uh, both strategically and, and quite hopefully from the investment community. That sounds great. Now, we're going to have investors from all over the world watching this video, learning about Nano One. What's the best way for them to get in contact with the company? Well, there's always our website, of course, um, and on the website you can sign up for Investor News and, and keep you know watch our you know watch out our watch our news, which we we put out probably we put up three news releases last week. I think on average we're putting we're news release out every one or two weeks um, uh, throughout Great. the year, and uh, and of course we're active on social media. So there you can go to our our, our LinkedIn and YouTube page and 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 uh, and Twitter page and, and basically all the social media platforms that, that, uh, that we need. And of course, we have investor relations and et cetera. And we are listed on the, the TSX venture um, uh, under uh, nno.v. So that's where you can find us. And, and of course, there, there are uh, equivalent listings on the, uh, uh, in the, on the OTC in the US and also in Germany uh, uh, under the uh, Frankfurt market. Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Dan Blundell, the CEO of Nano One Materials Corp. If you guys like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. So every time we have big breaking news or any news regarding Nano One, you get it first. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Chances are when you speak to your financial advisor about Nano One, they're going to say, where'd you hear about this pick? And you can say on Rich TV Live, and they're going to say, that's a really good pick. And I believe this is a very good pick. Keep up the great work, Dan, and thank you for joining us on our show today. Great, Rich. Fantastic being here. Thanks very much for the opportunity. My pleasure. Have yourself a great day, Dan. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.